and welcome to the Ontario Open Arm Wrestling Championships. I'm your host, James Turner, along with my friend, Gene Taddy. We are here at the Brookdale Inn, broadcasting to you on Trillium Channel 10. We have some special guest stars that have come up from the United States that we're very proud of. One of those gentlemen is called Mr. Richard Lupkis, who's the super heavyweight champion of the world and holds that title for about three years now. We've also got a five-year world champion, John Berzink. And if anybody's seen the movie, Over the Top, John was the guy who walked away with that truck. So any of you truckers out there, he's the guy to root for. We've also got the Cobra, Mr. Andrew Rhodes. He's helped uh, Mr. Stallone in years past getting prepared for the movie Over the Top. And my personal favorite and a very good friend of mine, Gary Goodrich, who comes from Barrie and is also a world champion. We've got another gentleman called Mr. Paul Giacchini. Paul's been around arm wrestling for about 10 years right now and is the godfather of arm wrestling in Canada. Uh, we wish these gentlemen all the best. But there's lots of fun and excitement, so stick around. Well, Gene, we're here. The semifinals. Now take her away. Hey, and guess what? I'm back. I'm Gene Taddy. I'm going to be your host from now to the end of this tournament here at the Brookdale. Pro-Am Arm Wrestling Championships here at Brookdale. In the beautiful downtown Barrie, Ontario. Now, for those of you who just join us, we've got referees here. One's a world champion, Kevin Kelly, in the lightweight division. We have uh, a brother of the world champion, uh, Paul Cicchini, Dave Cicchini. And that's who is at the table right now. World champion, Paul Cicchini, in the white. Going against Chuck Doublestein. Doublestein. And it's been a great day. We've gone through uh, over 85, 90 contestants for a total of 120. And Cecchini very, very easily, like he always does in that uh, top roll situation. Okay, Chuck, you go down and you're going to meet Eric in another little while. You're just, yes, I don't think so. Just to explain just a few of the rules here, we've got a table that sits about 41 inches high and about 26 inches wide. We've got two pads, uh, about seven inches square for your elbows. That's where your elbows have to stay for the duration of the match. We have those things that look like bicycle grips. Uh, one for the arm you're not arm wrestling with. And there's two there with a ribbon across it, which is called the gotcha bar. And basically the whole idea is, is to keep your elbows in the pads at all times and bring your opponent to either touch that ribbon or to come below it. Okay. Some of the easier rules. Your elbows have to be straight at all times. The wrist has to be straight. Shoulders straight. And then it's a ready-go start. We've got Sean Lewis and Keith Brown right now. Now, these both competitors have been in the winner's circle all day. Now, unfortunately, somebody is uh, going to have to go down and visit the B bracket for a short period of time. Which one will it be? Will it be Sean Lewis or Keith Brown? Let's check it out. We've got a slip. That means that we're going into these straps. A little device, if uh, you people have not seen this before, but a little device that will strap you in and almost guarantee you that you will not slip. Used internationally, worldwide, the good old straps.
are at the Brookdale here in Barrie, Ontario. A great spot to have an arm wrestling championship. And this is a Pro-Am. We incorporated that last year, having the pros going against their own pros and the amateurs going against the amateurs. Makes it a lot fair. The amateur scene is coming on strong, believe me, worldwide. We've got 40 countries involved now with the World Arm Wrestling Federation. And we're here, right in Barrie, Ontario, looking at probably one of the best tournaments I've seen in a long, a long, long time as far as competitor, competition. Looks like we're all strapped up here for this competition. They both competitors slipped out at the very beginning. So we will definitely find a winner here. Okay, guys, wait for the reps. And Brown, too much for Sion. Yeah, but Sean Lewis will be back because uh, he's going to visit the B bracket and hopefully can work himself way uh, back up to uh, to the final match. And that final match will be against Keith Brown. My favorite beer, Molson's, Russian Prince Vodka, Fitness Heaven, and Premier right now, Club 150, Bay Ontario. And our car dealership up in Midland, Stoney. Thank you. Okay, looking for Pierre. Pierre. All these competitions will lead up to a final championship, and that will be the Canadian Arm Wrestling Challenge Championship that will be held at the CNE in Toronto in the Arts and Craft Building, October 7th, 1989. It'll be the second annual Pro Am Arm Wrestling Challenge Championship. Okay, it's uh, Tim and Steve here. Okay, it's Tim and Steve to the table. We'll give, rest, we'll, we'll give you, Pierre, a couple seconds. Terry Goodrich and Bob, Bob you're, on, you're on deck. Pierre, you two, where are you? Okay, we got Tim Banting and Steve Perry. And Banting has got the advantage. And he has won that match. Terry Goodrich and Bob Crump, can you come up, please? Now we got Terry Goodrich and Bob Crump. The Goodrich connection. Boy, there's Goodriches all over the place here. Cousins, sisters, and brothers. Quite a group of arm wrestlers, I'll tell you. Of course, the main man, Gary Goodrich, world champion, uh, has done all the training for these uh, cousins and brothers. This is for amateur 151-175. We'll see if uh, Terry Goodrich can uh, possibly win and eliminate uh, Mr. Crump. And that's what you call over the top. And Terry Goodrich. Very nice. Very nice to done. We're starting to get these guys down to you. Last call for Pierre. I guess we're still looking for a fellow by the name of Pierre Huto. Okay, that's it, guys. And uh, Pierre has been disqualified. So now we've got uh, Rusty Healy and... Darren Matthews. Now, this should be pretty good. Now, Matthews, I know, uh, qualified for the Canadian Championships last year. 
and so did Rusty Healy. So uh, I'm not quite sure whether they were in the same weight division because the weight divisions have changed a bit here at the Brookdale. And Rusty Healy uh, doing the a little over the top method has uh, eliminated Matthews. And Mark Gardner for Pro 151 Can you get that on the table, please? Okay, we've got a match uh, coming up here right now that uh, should be very, very interesting. We have a Canadian uh, against an American. And we like that. We like that type of competition here. Uh, Mark Gardner uh, placed second in Canada last year. Uh, he's from uh, London, Ontario. And the fella by the name of the Cobra. And uh, now residing in uh, Chicago. Chicago, Illinois, and uh, I was talking to him earlier. He says, no one in my weight division will beat me today. Quote, unquote. We'll see what happens. We're getting down there. These guys are going for a bracket. Who goes to where in the final? The Cobra against Mark Gardner. This should be interesting. Now, Cobra's real name is Andrew Rhodes, okay, uh, f uh, formerly from Virginia area, now residing in Chicago, Illinois. Let's see what happens here. Look at that. What do we have here? Now we've got a little bit of a problem here. Uh, and the winner, Mark Gardner, just a upset here like you wouldn't believe. Okay, now, we have uh, Mike Hay from the Port Perry Arm Wrestling Club and uh, his opponent, uh, he's going against his fellow member, Dan Wells, uh, from the same arm wrestling club. And as uh, James Turner, our uh, announcer, has pointed out that uh, the winner of this match here will go against the Cobra for the finals. Mike Higg in the black, Dan Wells in the white shirt. And what do we have here? We have Mike Haig using the power that he has developed in the last couple of years to win over Dan Wells. That match you just uh, witnessed was the 150 to 175 pound pro division. Now we're into the 176 to 200 pound pro division right now. And the Cobra has uh, apparently entered uh, three or four weight divisions here today. Going up against Canadians, 200 pounder Rob Graham from London, Ontario. Again, Cobra. Uh, weighing in about, uh, I would think, about 175, 176 today. Entering two weight divisions, and this guy's tricky. I'll tell you, I've heard that uh, he's beaten some top-notch competitors in, in, the, in, the, in the time that he's been arm wrestling. So, he's full of surprises, the Cobra. Uh, Rob Graham, I was talking to him earlier. He, uh, he's got down to 200 pounds, looking good. Uh, we'll see what happens here. And the Cobra is uh, complaining about uh, a little bit of movement, I think, in the uh, in the elbow area with uh, with Rob Graham. So we'll see what happens here. There still is a time limit as well. And from a top row, Rob Graham went inside, and there's no way that he's going to pin uh, the Cobra that way. 
Yeah, Cobra is in tight, and Graham will definitely not uh, be able to uh, uh, pin his opponent right there because of the situation of his wrist. Okay, because of the fact that Rob came underneath of Cobra's uh, palm of his hand has been awarded a foul. Now, Rob can't afford another one now. We'll see what happens here. And one more time. Same thing happened. Now, Rob has got to stay in that position here, as far as I'm concerned. And we've got Cobra trying to shake Graham's wrist and forearm, and finally a pin. The Cobra against uh, Canadians Rob Graham. Now, Graham has been eliminated uh, from this competition. Mark and Dan center table.